In previous lessons, we examined kinematics, which is a description of movement, and kinetics, which is the forces that cause that movement. Today, we're going to put those together and look at how we analyze movement itself. The two main types or categories of movement analysis are quantitative and qualitative. Quantitative analysis is where we're going to get data. So we might look at fitness testing as an example of quantitative analysis. We're actually getting measurements. We're getting data from that. Uh, an athlete might use a force plate to determine the forces they're creating during the activity. They may look at video and track the different angles of their movements. So quantitative is where we look at data, the stuff that we can measure. Qualitative analysis can be as simple as a coach watching the player and giving feedback. Or it could be looking at a video together where the athlete might do some self-feedback. So quali qualitative is more judging, more subjective, looking at how the movement is going, breaking it down in different parts. So let's look at some different ways to analyze movement. First we have just basic observation. So again, it's a coach looking at a player or participant. This has been around for years before we had the different technologies. So the coach would watch different aspects of the movement, give feedback, and then they, the coach and the player would make some interventions to improve the movement. Today with the technology we have, we can do motion capture where an athlete will put reflective markers on their body and then they'll do the movement with many different cameras reflecting those different markers on the body so it can measure the angles and different movements of the body so you can determine what the optimal movement should be. And this technique is actually also used in video games and movies when they create a three-dimensional movement. So what this does for the athlete is they can look at performance, they can look at things that might cause injuries, so it helps with injury prevention and, and rehabilitation. Some other ways to analyze movement, computer simulation. This is where we're going to put data into a computer and try to reproduce that behavior. So we might have gotten data from the motion capture, we might have data from different measurements, and the computer is going to simulate those, those measurements. So again, we can analyze the different movements. Uh, chronophotography, that's where you, you take pictures and stages or slides or phases of the movement. So again, you can look at the different aspects of the movement and break it down. And the last one we have is mathematical, mathematical modeling. That goes along with computer simulation where we're putting in those different relationships and what are the variables and using math to compute okay, what might happen, what did happen, and again, to look at, to maximize those movements and to look at where there might be some problems with movement. A couple other ways to analyze movement. One is force plates. Again, force plates are going to look at the reaction of the body with the ground or the ground reaction forces. So when you, you're moving across the ground, you're pushing off in a space, it's going to produce force. And it can produce force in different magnitudes or different directions. So the plate on the floor is going to measure that. And we have force transducers and those are hooked up to the body and they're more specific electronic signals that are more sensitive. It can pick up some different forces throughout the body. So not just ground reaction force, we're also looking at in the picture there, the example it's hooked up to his leg as he's pedaling the bicycle so it can pick up those forces in the body. A common example of movement analysis would be gait analysis and that's just looking at somebody walking. So if we're looking at their gait cycle, one way you could look at it is quantification, meaning that you're measuring the stride length, the angles of the joints. Those are all measurable. So quantification is one way we can do that. Also interpretation, we're looking at the walking pattern itself and making conclusions through those observations. In summary, uh, movement analysis or motion analysis is benefit to athletes because it helps them 
look at things that impact their performance, impact injuries, impact rehabilitation. You can look at it in a quantitative measure, meaning that we're looking at the actual results, the numbers of the system are qualitative, where we're looking at subjectively the movement itself. We can use motion capture with the reflective pieces on the body, where we can put that in the computer. The computer can analyze itself and also can use mathematical models. Chronophotography breaks it down and, and frames the different sections of the movement. Force plates and, tra force plates and transducers are going to measure the, the forces when you're interact interacting with the ground or other objects. And a typical one is gait analysis where we look at walking. So think about for your sport or activity, how do, how do you feel movement analysis would be beneficial for you? How would it be helpful as far as performance, injury prevention, and things like rehabilitation?